Gathering statistics using the analyze command. There are various methods for gathering statistics in an Oracle environment. One is the analyze command, another is the DBMS stats package. You can also use Oracle Enterprise Manager and a package called stats pack. First of all, the analyze command. Gathering statistics with the analyze command. This is the syntax of the analyze command. And even though it may look complicated, it's actually very simple. You can analyze a table, an index, or a cluster. In other words, you can generate statistics for a table, an index, or a cluster. You can do the same for partitions, which are parts of table. You can do a computation, which is a full computation on all data in a table. You can generate system statistics. You can even generate statistics for specific columns within tables, indexes, clusters. What these create are effectively histograms. As you can see here, I have a histogram. This histogram represents a table with quite a large number of rows. This is the key value on which the histogram would be created. In other words, 30,001, 41,000, 60,001. As you can see, for this particular value here, 50028, there are very few values. For 30,001, there are actually almost 400,000 values. The histogram will allow the optimizer to understand that there is a big difference between this first value and this value 50028 in terms of the number of rows in the table. In other words, when it's searching for 50028, it knows it only needs to find a single row, so it uses an index and does an exact hit into the table using a row ID. The optimizer will probably assume that. For this particular value, it might as well read the entire table to find all these values. It would be more efficient in the case of the first column to read the entire table than to read index and table for each row matching this 30,001 value. We'll get to histograms later. You can estimate statistics for a table. If you've got very large tables and you don't want your database to spend an enormous amount of time calculating statistics, and obviously statistics calculations of a computational nature can actually cause the database to slow down quite drastically. So you can estimate based on a sample number of rows or a percentage size of a table. You can delete statistics. In other words, existing statistics in a table can be deleted so that you can go and use, for instance, rule-based optimization on a particular table if you really want. Additionally, the analyze command can do a certain amount of validation and it can generate a list of chained rows. Chained rows can actually be detected within, for instance, a table in a column within the user tables view, which we'll see later on. What I want to do now is to look at some examples. I have some pre-prepared scripting. So let's go and open up SQL Plus. Here I am connected to SQL Plus. So first of all, I could go and connect to my concert schema or my concert user. Same thing. And I can analyze this particular table in two ways, either as a computation or as an estimate and a sample of a small percentage of the number of rows in the table. I can also analyze a specific index name. Now I know that index exists. What I originally did was I went and ran this and I found an index on the ACT table called XPKACT, the primary key on the ACT table. Now if I search down here I should find this index and it's right there. I'm going to paste this in and I'm going to analyze the index. That's it. It's very simple. What I have here is a script that actually goes through all of the objects based on object type in my particular schema. If we can find the from clause, which is here, from user objects, where I'm table index or cluster using the user objects view and it will generate a list of analyze commands for my entire schema. Very simple. That's the basics of the analyze command.